All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss. I'm back again with another video. And the main video that a lot of people want to see lately is the iPad against the Galaxy Tab. And I was all ready to do part two of the video and all that. Been playing with the Galaxy Tab all weekend long. Only one problem. Remember, if you watched the last video, I rated it a eight on a scale of one to 10. I'm going to have to take back that rating. I'm pushing it down to a 6. In other words, the Galaxy Tab is a fail. Straight up fail. No, no two ways about it. Now, like I said before in, in all of my past videos, y'all know I don't got no allegiances to none of these companies. Rim, Apple, Black, Sprint, Android. Don't matter to me. Whatever, Whenever something come out, if it's good, I'm getting it. If, if, if the shit is hot, I'm going to say the shit is hot. If the shit is whack, I'm going to say it's whack. Just because of something to do with BlackBerry, that don't automatically mean I'm going to be like, I like it because BlackBerry one of my favorite phones. No, that's not how I work. All right? If the shit is whack, I'm straight up calling it whack. And this Galaxy Tab, I'm straight up calling it a fail. The shit is kind of whack, yo. Let me tell you why. Now, I'm kind of spoiled because I've been using the iPad, you know, for a while. You know, so you get used to the smoothness and the fluent you know, the fluent use of the iPad. I got this Galaxy Tab, I've been rocking it all week long now, and there's only two words that I can really use to describe this Galaxy Tab. Those two words are lag and choppy. Lag and choppy. Now, what do I mean by lag? This is, lag is when you load up a page or when you touch something on your device and you're waiting for a response, and that response takes more than one, two, three seconds, that's lag. And i give you a perfect example because this, this thing lags all the time. Give you a perfect example. Let me put in the code. All right. When you pull up your home screen on this joint, right, and you're ready to swipe side to side, what's going on? You see how you swipe in and it takes a few seconds to, to catch up? That's what you call lag. Now, I'm not going to sit here and keep doing it so I can keep giving you examples, but trust me, take it from me. I don't got no reason to play no games with y'all. Take it from me. The shit lags more times than not. All right, now I can tell you, when you're using the iPad, no lag at all. Sure, sometimes you pull up a web page, it might take a couple of extra seconds to load up, and yeah, you don't have the flash on it, but on this Galaxy Tab, the lag on this thing is ridiculous. It's way too much lag, too much. And what do I mean by choppy? Choppy is when you're playing a video, say you go to one of your favorite websites and you're playing a video because it supports flash, so you're playing that video, and if you touch anything on the screen, the whole screen has to readjust. So if you pinch to zoom or you pinch in and out, that's it. It has to reload, readjust. I'm not gonna, I'm, in, I'm actually on, on my way to go catch a flight and um, I'm gonna stop off at Best Buy and get my money back for this shit before I go. But um, that's why I'm not gonna get too deep into this shit. But I'm telling y'all right now, if you have a choice to get an iPad or a Galaxy Tab, do yourself a favor, get the iPad. Trust me. Trust me. Now, a lot of y'all gonna say, when y'all see this, y'all gonna say, oh, you got all those widgets on there. You know, why don't you take off some of the widgets and now probably help with the lag. My response to you for that, it's the same as if you go out and buy yourself a BMW convertible, all right? Now, in the summertime, when you got the top down and somebody see you walking around with a sheet, I know, because I had an M3 convertible, when somebody see you walking around with a sheet in the summertime and, you, and they're like, what's that for? And you're like, well, you know, I got to put this over my seats when I leave the top down, when I go in the store and I come back out, the, sh the shit's is on fire, I can't even sit down. So the same people who say, who say, oh, you know, take the, um, hold on one second. Y'all outside? All right, I'll be right out. Like I was saying, some people, the same people who say take the widgets off and you get less lag, if you got a convertible and you're putting your sheets over the, over the seat to keep the seats from getting hot, people are going to say, well, why don't you just put the top up on the car and that'll save you that problem. What you're going to say? What's the sense of buying a convertible if I can't put the damn top down? And that's the same thing. What's the sense of buying an Android tablet if you can't use all the cool Android widgets that they pumping out to you? There's a thousand widgets. They want you to use the widgets. So why, why would you get a tablet and you can't use the widgets on it? Doesn't make any sense. All right. Like I said, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give this a six. If if you could get your hands on one of these now for two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, yeah, then it might be worth it for you. But six hundred dollars for this shit? No way. 
no way this is not worth six hundred dollars all right you get an ipad the white because i'm only using this for wi-fi so you could get an ipad with the wi-fi without the 3g you could get that for 500 some change and you get a bigger screen now a lot of people are going to say well this has the the flash player the camera the memory card you know it's a lot more portable yeah you know they samsung is they on the right path they got the right idea but the finished product is definitely not a go definitely because if you think about it this shit is six hundred dollars and change you ain't gonna just go in there and buy a tablet you're gonna have to buy a case so this case was like about thirty dollars and then you want a screen protector and all that stuff so when you walk out of the store you're gonna spend seven hundred dollars is this shit worth seven hundred dollars hell no this shit right now i couldn't see myself buying this shit for more than three hundred dollars and keeping it like I, I i spent the full seven but as you can see i got my cab outside right now go get my money back or go jump on this flight take my iPad with me and let me show you something that's cool I just got for this iPad this case right here this is they call it military rubber I don't know what that means or whatever but it's some kind of hardcore rubber it adds a lot of weight to the device but comes in two parts comes in a part to cover the front let you see the Apple insignia on the back you could drop this shit out of a moving car it won't break and the case also doubles as a stand so when you take the top part of the case off Drop your iPad in there, and you have a stand, a real stand. Not like those cases that, like the other one I showed you, the leather one. Yeah, you could fold it up and watch a movie on it, but if you touch it, it's going to fall down. This stand, as you can see, it's not moving anywhere. So this is, I'm about to take this on my flight, go have a lot of fun. This shit going back to Best Buy. Samsung Galaxy Tab, straight up fail. Now, I know I'm going to catch a lot of heat for that, whatever. Y'all hit me up with the comments if y'all want to go into more detail, and I'll tell you more shit I don't like about it, but... I'm bashing this shit. I don't like it. All right, and I told y'all already, if the shit is hot, I'm saying it's hot. If it's not, I'm saying it's not. And this shit is definitely not hot, especially for $600 and change. Don't do it to yourself, all right? There's a lot of other cheap Android tablets that's on the market. If you just need something to check your Facebook and fool around, I recommend getting a cheaper version, all right? The Galaxy Tab, straight up fail, all right? It's your boy Floss. I'm waiting for the BlackBerry Playbook. That's I guess that's going to be my next joint. Other than that, hit me up with the comments and we keep it going. I see y'all when I get back in town, all right? Deuces.